Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in part one of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Cyberlink Power Director. We want to take you through the program, show you the basics of editing in Power Director, putting together your movie, gathering the media, and then ultimately outputting your movie. And of course, if you want to know more, we have more tutorials on our website and on YouTube. And if you want to know everything about the program, you do want to check out our moviepicks.com guide to it step by step. We'll take you through the entire program. But here we are at the splash screen, the welcome screen. Here on the welcome screen, we have a number of options, including the options for setting the aspect ratio for our project. In most cases, you're going to be using widescreen 16 by 9. If you're shooting with your phone upright, you'll be using 9 by 16. You probably won't be working with 4 by 3. That's the old television standard. But if you're creating video for uh, social media sites, sometimes Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, people actually prefer to make 1 by 1, which is a square video. You can do that also here in PowerDirector 18. Now, in most of our course, we're going to be working in full mode. That's the regular timeline mode. But you also have some options here for opening in storyboard mode, which we talk about elsewhere on our site, or the slideshow creator or auto mode. Now, the slideshow creator and auto mode are very similar. Uh, they both will take you step by step into templates that will automatically generate movies for you. Slideshow is just ideally designed to work with photos, while auto mode will create an entire movie for you. So an instant movie will click on auto mode just to show you how it works. Auto mode opens up the magic movie wizard from which we're first prompted to import videos or photos into our project. So we'll just click on that and we'll select the option to import media files. Once we browse to our media files, we can select several of them here. Just going to hold down the uh, shift key and select the first and last in a series. Click on open and they'll be imported into our project. Once the Magic Movie Wizard imports them, we'll click on Next. And again, this is very similar to the Slideshow Creator. And we'll be prompted to select a template for our movie. These are all pretty cool, but I'm going to select the grid with transitions. And we can select Settings. If you go down here to the lower left-hand corner, and in the Settings, we can select whether or not to add uh, music. Let's go ahead and add some music by clicking on that little musical note. Go down here to the Music category, and we'll select the song. Now, once you add music, you have the choice of either making the movie as long as the music or cutting the music so that it matches the movie length, or you can custom set whatever length you'd like for your movie. So let's go ahead and let it go with suggested duration. And we can choose whether or not we hear the music or whether or not we hear the sound from the video. I don't like to hear the sound from the video, so I'm just gonna make it a music video by moving that slider to the left. There are more advanced settings too if you want to go into them, but let's go ahead and click OK. And then when we click Next, the program is going to generate a preview of our movie. Here on the preview screen, we can customize the title for our movie. I'm just going to call it my movie for now. And then we can see a preview based on the template we selected. So as you can see, it generates a really nice little instant movie for you. Once you're satisfied with your movie, click the next button and you'll have the option of either producing your video, in other words, outputting it as an MP4 or another file, burning it to a disc, or sending it to your timeline for advanced editing. Most of our basic training here, or most of the work we do is going to be spent in full mode. That's the regular timeline mode. This is uh, sort of the power mode for the program. This is where you can do the things you can do in a professional video editor here on your home desktop. And in part two of our eight part series, we're going to take a look at how to add media and start building out a project here in this powerful timeline workspace. I'm Steve Rizzetti. Hope to see you in part two.